now we see multiple choice questions from topic coordination chemistry from that sub part thermodynamic and kinetic aspects of metal complexes friends before starting the questions i requested you please subscribe my channel for getting such videos i also prepare such type of videos on topic bio inorganic chemistry nuclear chemistry iron and steel chemistry of a block elements so friends see that videos for your upcoming exams like this videos and share to your friends okay let us start mcqs from thermodynamic and kinetic aspects of metal complexes first question the term stability is used without any prefixes then it is called dot dot stability chemical electrical thermodynamic kinetic so the term stability used without any prefixes then it is called thermodynamic stability that is option c thermodynamic stability depends upon the difference between dot dot of reactants and products capacities energies holds speed so correct option b that is energy thermodynamic stability depends upon the difference between energies of reactants and products the term stability is used with prefixes then it is called dot dot stability chemical electrical thermodynamic kinetic so it is known as kinetic stability the term stability is used without prefixes then it is called thermodynamic stability and with prefixes then it is called as kinetic stability thermodynamic stability depends upon dot dot energy reaction activation chemical electrical so thermodynamic stability depends upon the reaction energy kinetic stability depends upon dot dot energy so thermodynamic stability depends upon reaction energy and kinetic stability depends upon the activation energy therefore option b kinetic stability deals with rate and dot dot of reaction momentum constant mechanism none of this so correct option is option c mechanism kinetic stability deals with rate and mechanism of reaction the rate of reaction may depend upon dot dot energy of complex reaction activation potential product so correct option is option b activation the rate of reaction may depend upon activation energy of complex the next more the reaction energy dot dot will be the thermodynamic stability higher constant lesser none of this so correct option is option a that is higher you may also ask the question dot dot the reaction energy higher will be the thermodynamic stability that time you remember that more the reaction energy higher will be the thermodynamic stability reciprocal of dissociation constant or instability constant is known as dot dot constant here not on that is or or reciprocal of dissociation constant or instability constant is known as stability constant formation constant both a and b none of this so correct option is option c that is it is known as reciprocal of dissociation constant or instability constant is known as stability constant as well as formation constant the next complex formation is favored by dot dot enthalpy change positive negative both a and b none of these so complex formation is favored by negative enthalpy change enthalpy change must be negative according to tobe complexes which undergoes rapid substitution of ligands within 1 minute at 25 degree celsius is called dot dot inert labile stable unstable 
so correct option is b according to scientist tobe complexes which undergoes rapid substitution of ligands within 1 minute at 25 degrees celsius is called labile next according to fbt that is valence bond theory outer orbital complexes are inert labile stable unstable here also according to fbt outer orbital complexes are labile complexes which do not undergo substitution or undergo substitution very slowly are known as dot dot inert labile stable unstable so complexes which do not undergo do not undergo substitution or undergo substitution very slowly are known as unstable thermodynamic stability deals with dot dot bond energy redox potential stability constant all of these so thermodynamic stability deals with all of these means bond energy redox potential and stability constant option d inner orbital complexes with field t2g orbitals are inert labile stable unstable so inner orbital complexes with field t2g orbitals are inert option a the product of stepwise stability constants are known as dot dot formation constant moderate stepwise overall none of these so correct option is c the product of stepwise stability constant are known as overall formation constant NaCN4 two minus is thermodynamically and kinet kinetically dot dot inert, labile, stable, unstable. So NaCN4 two minus is thermodynamically and kinetically labile. Then next equilibrium constants like K1, K2, K3 dot dot Kn are called dot dot stability constant here dot 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 stability constant moderate overall stepwise none of these so correct option is c that is stepwise equilibrium constants like k1 k2 k3 dot dot kn are called stepwise stability constant that is option number c inner orbital complexes with facant t2g orbitals r so in last mcq we see inner orbital complexes with field t2g orbitals are field t2g orbitals are inert and now inner orbital complexes with facant t2g orbitals are labile dot dot the charge on central metal ion higher will be the stability of complex so more the charge on central metal at ion higher will be the stability of complex stability of complex increases with dot dot in size of metal ion so stability of complex increases with decrease in size of metal ion dot dot charge to radius ratio more stable will be the complex so more charge to radius ratio more stable will be the complex more polar ligands generally form dot dot complex stable unstable less stable none of this so more polar ligands forms stable complex you may also ask question like that dot 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 polar ligands generally form stable complexes and given options like less more none of these or moderate then remember that more polar ligand for generally form stable complexes next higher the value of cfac cfac means crystal field stabilization energy more dot dot will be 
complex stable unstable less stable none of this so correct option a stable higher the value of crystal field stabilization energy more stable will be the complex higher the basicity of ligands dot dot stable will be the complex here also higher the basicity of ligands more stable will be the complex complex formation is favored by dot dot entropy change positive negative zero none of these so complex formation is favored by positive entropy change remember that entropy change must be positive while enthalpy change in last time mcq we see that enthalpy change must be negative entropy positive enthalpy negative generally dot dot membered rings are more stable 3 4 5 6 6 so generally phio membered rings are more stable edta forms dot dot number of phio membered ring in calcium edta chelate so edta means ethylene diamine tetra acetic acid so edta forms phio number of phio membered ring in calcium edta chelate stability constant of a complex can be determined by dot dot method jobs method mole ratio method slope ratio method all of these so stability constant of a complex can be determined by jobs method also mole ratio method also slope ratio method means option d that is all of these dot dot introduced the mole ratio method for determination of stability constant so may, uh, options are harvey and manning job yo and jones beer so mole ratio method was introduced by yo and jones for which purpose determination of stability constant in dot dot method for determination of stability constant the solutions prepared with constant volume jobs mole ratio slope ratio all of this so in jobs method in jobs method for determination of stability constant the solutions prepared with constant volume dot dot introduced the slope ratio method for determination of stability constant so harvey and manning job yo and jones beer so slope ratio method was introduced by scientist harvey and manning while mole ratio method mole ratio method was introduced by yo and jones remember that slope ratio method harvey and manning mole ratio method yo and jones so this one is last question also you may ask question on graphical representation of these methods that is jobs method mole ratio method or slope ratio method so for jobs method graph obtained as likewise that on y axis absorbance and on x axis mole fraction of ligand this is for jobs method for mole ratio method graphical representation likewise that on y axis absorbance and on x axis en here also absorbance and here mole fraction en is equal to cl upon cm that is total ligand concentration divided by total metal concentration and this graph is for mole ratio method and last slope ratio method for slope ratio method graph obtained is likewise that slope we obtained okay here on y axis also absorbance and on x axis total ligand concentration a concentration of ligand or concentration of metal concentration of 
ligand or metal this is for slope ratio method okay here we completed multiple choice questions for topic related to thermodynamic and kinetic aspects of metal complexes so thank you for watching my video still some friends do not subscribe and like my videos so please subscribe like and share my video thank you very much